I am babysitting and watching some baby Asian small claw otters. You're a hungry little guy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, I love him so We have our perfect half cup of Ezbalak. Now we're just going to put it right in there. Just pour some right there. Okay, 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 okay. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely incredible Wednesday and a spider literally just got on my mic. Look at that, there's a spider right here. Come here buddy, go right over here. Well guys, hope all of you guys are having an absolutely incredible Wednesday. Now for today's video, I'm pretty excited about it. I am babysitting and watching some baby Asian small claw otters here at my house. Yes, you heard that right. I've got otters at my house. I mean, how many people get to say that they get to help take care of and raise otters? I mean, guys, I am just so, so stoked for this. Now, these otters were born November 21st, so they're pretty small right now. And the mom kind of just stopped taking care of them, so we had to pull them out of their enclosure. And now we are hand raising them. And they are just the most adorable little things in the world. So we are going to go head inside right now, and I'm going to show you the otters. And right in here, here is where I'm keeping the little otters. So we have a nice little pen set up for them right here. Now they're sleeping right now. I don't know if you can see them. Oh my gosh, look at them, look at them. They are just so, so cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh. So for these little baby otters, we actually have two heat pads. We have one wrapped up in a blanket on the inside. Let me show you guys right now. So one of the heat pads is actually right here wrapped up in a blanket. And then we have another one underneath the pen. And we also have some puppy pads lined on the bottom so if they pee actually look at that they just peed i feel that so we're gonna have to change these blankets they just peed but there's oh no and they pooped okay they peed and they pooped that's delicious but these guys are just absolutely adorable and it is just about to be feeding time for the little baby otters so it's going to be so much fun to actually feed them i'm going to take you guys step by step show you how to make the formula and all of that but before we get started in that i want to take these guys out introduce them to you because they are just adorable this is the little boy right here he's just a little bit bigger than the female hi buddy hi buddy Oh my gosh, guys, go comment down below if you've seen anything cuter than a little baby Asian otter. Here you go, bud, there you go. Oh, look, at this. listen to the little noise. I mean, they just have one of the coolest noises of all animals. Hi, buddy. He follows me around. What? What is it? Are you hungry? Oh, yeah, you're a hungry little otter. You're a hungry little guy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. So, so cute. Guys, go comment down below and name for them. Let's get the little girl out right now. Hi, princess. Are you sleeping? It's about time to get some food. Oh my gosh, guys. So, so adorable. Here, there's your sister. Look. Oh my goodness. You guys are so cute. Guys, they actually follow you around like little dogs. Let's watch this. See, if I walk this way, come here, guys. Come here. But I've actually got some toys right here. So I've got all different balls and toys that we're going to give them to play with after they eat. They'll get playtime after they eat. All right, kiddos, it's time to go back in. You gotta go in, I gotta make your food. So you guys gotta go back inside of your little house, okay? Would that be okay to do? Okay, come here, little girl. So we got the little girl right here. We're just gonna put her inside right now. Hi, sweetie. And then we have the little boy right here. Whoa, buddy, where are you going? Oh wow, this guy's on a mission. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Come here, buddy. Where do you think you're going? I don't know where he thought he was going. You gotta go back inside, okay? Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Now, guys, these animals do not belong to me. They actually belong to Mario at Zoological Wildlife Foundation. I am just going to be bottle raising them for the next few weeks. They need a little help with that. So, guys, if you're ever in the Miami area and you want to come meet some baby tigers, lions, monkeys, and in a few weeks, baby otters, guys, go give them a follow. They're going to be linked down below. By far the best thing you can ever do in Miami. It is just an incredible once-in-a-lifetime experience. But now that you guys saw those little baby otters, we are going to be making their formula. So right here is all of the supplies that we are going to need to make this otter milk. So the very first thing is a bottle of water. Now guys, I don't like using single-use plastics, but the reason why I'm using bottled water is if I use the regular sink water, it could have chlorine and chemicals. That could upset the otter's stomach, so I just don't want to do that at all. Don't want to take the chance. Then we have our little formula holder right here. And then this right here is the formula. Yeah, you see that right there? This is puppy milk replacement. 
Yes, the otters do drink the same milk that puppies would if you're going to hand raise them. You can't use kitten milk replacement. Kitten milk replacement is way too high in protein. So the puppy milk is the best stuff. And then we have our measuring cup right here. So when you're making this otter formula, you wanna do it in a one to two ratio. So if you use one half cup of Esblack, you're going to use two cups of water to get the formula the right consistency. So we're going to do a small batch at a time. The reason why I like to do small batches is because I don't like the milk to you know go stale after a while if it's been sitting in there a day and a half I just like to always have fresh milk so I make smaller batches throughout the day so we're gonna start off with a cup of this Esbalak right now we're just gonna open up the bag we've got our Esbalak bag right here let's get a nice scoop and we have our perfect half cup of Esbalak now we're just going to put it right in there we had a little bit of spillage but that's normal so now we're going to add two half cups of water, which will be equal to one, and pour on in one half cup right there. And then we are going to do a, another half cup right now. Do, 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 do. Perfect, perfect. We're just gonna pour that in right there. Part, if you shake it really good, it'll actually blend it really good on its own. So let's see, do we get it good? I think it's secure, guys. The only way to tell is to literally start shaking it, because I got one hand right here, so let's see. All right, we're secure. Oh wait, we got a little bit of leakage. I can feel it. All right, we fixed the leakage. We tightened it up. Now we just gotta shake it up, get the formula all mixed up. All right, we fixed the leak. Now we're just gonna continue shaking it up to get the formula completely mixed. Ah, the formula is completely mixed. You can see how it's just like a nice consistency, just like milk would be. That's what you're aiming for right here. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too watery. This is the perfect consistency right here. So right now they're each getting around 24 grams in the bottle. So we have a blue one for the boy and a pink one for the girl. So how am I gonna weigh how much to give them? Well, since they're each getting 24 grams, we're going to turn our scale on and put the blue bottle on. Then we're going to zero that bottle out right there. Check that out, we zeroed it, and then we're gonna, just gonna pour milk into the bottle until it hits 24 grams. Let's see right there. All right, how much is there? So we're at 19 grams right there. We're just gonna need a little bit more to get to 24. So we got 30 grams right there. We're gonna pour it into here. Let's see. 24 grams. So this bottle is absolutely perfect. Now we have to fill up the female's bottle to 24 grams. Let's pour some right there, and we're at 11 grams. Let's pour, we should be almost there, 18, 19, and 24 grams, perfect. Guys, now that we've got our bottles completely weighed out, we are going to be popping them over in the microwave. We're gonna heat them up for about roughly 10 seconds each since it's just a small volume of milk, and then we are going to start feeding these baby otters. So we're gonna start out with the male's bottle first. We're just gonna pop it right here in the microwave. And we have the female's bottle done now. So we're just going to secure both lids on for them. Shake their bottles up a little bit. And now that we have our bottles ready, we are gonna go over here, take these little otters out and feed them. Hi little guys, ready to come out, ready for dinner? So we have right here, who are we gonna feed first? We're gonna feed the little girl first just cause she's a little bit of a finicky eater. Actually, that's the boy right there. Hello, little girl, you are so adorable. Hello, 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 hello. So these guys are pretty enthusiastic when feeding. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, come on. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So you don't want her to ever completely lay down when feeding just because if you do that, they can aspirate. So right now, she's just, very hungry right now. She's really enthusiastic about feeding. But you always wanna keep the bottle upright. You never want there to be air. You always want there to just be formula there. If she's sucking on air, it's going to go into her stomach and could possibly expand it. We don't want that to happen. But right now, she's drinking slow and steady, which is exactly what we want. I mean, she is just an adorable little otter. Look at her little hands right there. So, so cute. That's a good bottle. That is so yummy, isn't it? And if you look at her eyes, they're just kinda of closing up. I mean, this is like the greatest thing in the world to her. It's just so amazing. Okay, you wanna take a break? Take a break. Hi, hi little one. Here. You want some more? So we wanted to get all the milk, all 23 grams. Almost got it all, almost, almost. Just one more sip. She pretty much completely drank her bottle. You can see there's literally only like a little drop left. You did so good. So after we're done feeding both of them, we're actually going to be stimulating them so they can poop and pee. 
But for now, we're just going to get the male fed while his bottle is still warm. So you can see right now, he knows it's feeding time. He smells the milk. He's just losing his mind right here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, guys, he is so enthusiastic. Look at his little hands, his whole body. He's just, here, push with your hands. You got it. Guys, go comment down below if you've seen anything cuter than this. And guys, don't forget to go comment down below a name for the otters. And if I like your name, I will shout you out in the next video. So, so cute. Look at him. He's like a little person. All right, buddy, you got all your milk. So the male is a much more enthusiastic eater. So he got all of his milk right there in one shot. Actually, you got one more drop, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. And that is all, buddy. You drank all 23 grams. You were such a good little otter. You are so, so good. So now that these little guys have eaten, I am going to go now, and I'm going to be playing with these little otters. So I've got these little toys right here, these little balls. Otters absolutely love playing with little balls. Okay, can you take all of them? All right, wait, okay, I got all of them. Otters, especially when they're older, they love to play with balls, rocks, and really anything that they can fit in their hands. So I'm just gonna literally put all of these balls out right here, and I'm going to take them out so they can have a little bit of exercise, burn their food off, because these guys are little lazy otters. They're just going to sleep right there. Buddy, what are you guys doing? That is your sister. Come here, little girl. Here you go. Here's some toys, look, look. Look, she's probably already gonna try to grab them with her hands. Here, let's get the boy out. Once they get together, they may do this together. Come here, buddy. Oh, no. Wow, these guys are just so, so tiny. It is so, so cute watching them play. Guys, do you like your toys? She looks pretty interested in it. How about you, buddy? No, he's just interested in me. But she's really interested in the toys. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. Look, she's chewing on it. Guys, giving them little rubber balls like this is great enrichment. Now, I'm not going to let her play with this unsupervised because you can see that there's these little plastic things. We don't want her to chew and eat those. So just to avoid that altogether, I'm just gonna keep that. But she can have all of the rest of the balls, any of them. This one is extra fun for her because she's got the little bell. And that, my friends, is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching. I know these guys had an absolute blast today, having a good old time here. Guys, I had so much fun teaching you all about these otters. And if you guys have not already, please go give ZWF a follow. Guys, link down below. In a couple weeks, you'll be able to come to us. You'll be able to meet these baby otters in person. We also have encounters with tigers, lions, monkeys, all that great stuff. If you guys want to come meet that stuff, link down below. Go book your tour today, guys. You will not be disappointed. These guys want to meet you. And if you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up. And if it is your guys' first time on the channel and you are not subscribed already, well, guess what, guys? It is the first link down below. Go subscribe.